Dwarf Planet series as Ocean World with Salty Water. According to the report, Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, is a ocean world with a large reservoir of salt water beneath its frigid surface. Scientists said in findings that increase interest in this dwarf planet as a potential outpost for life. Analysis published on Monday on the basis of data collected by NASA's Dawn spacecraft, which flew as near as 22 miles 35 kilometers from the surface in 2018, provides a new understanding of Ceres, including evidence that it remains geologically active with cryovolcanism volcanoes oozing icy material. The findings confirm the existence of a subsurface reservoir of brine salt rich water remains of a vast subsurface ocean that has been slowly frozen. This elevates Ceres to ocean world status. Noting that this category does not require the ocean to be global. The planetary scientist and Don chief investigator Carol Raymond said. In the case of Ceres, we know the liquid reservoir is regional scale. But we cannot tell for sure that it is global. However, what matters most is that there is liquid on a large scale. Ceres has a diameter of approximately 590 miles 950 kilometers. The scientists focused on the 57-mile-wide, 92-km-wide, Ocator Crater, which had an impact on the northern hemisphere of Ceres some 22 million years ago. It has two bright areas salt crusts left by the liquid that percolated to the surface and evaporated. The liquid, they concluded, originated in a brine reservoir that lay hundreds of miles km wide, about 25 miles 40 kilometers below the surface, creating fractures that would allow salt water to escape. Study has been published in the journals Nature Astronomy, Nature Geoscience and Nature Communications. Numerous solar system bodies beyond Earth where subsurface oceans are identified or appear to exist include the Europa moon of Jupiter, the Enceladus moon of Saturn, the Triton moon of Neptune, and the Pluto dwarf planet. Water is considered to be a main ingredient in life. Scientists want to determine whether Ceres has ever been inhabited by microbial life. There is major interest at this stage. Planetary scientist Julie Castillo of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, in quantifying the habitability potential of the deep brine reservoir, especially considering it is cold and getting quite rich in salts. Thank you very much for watching the video. Now, if you like the video, gives it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more interesting video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for instant notification. That ways you won't miss any videos from us. Also, don't forget to check out other video on our channel. Be safe everyone.